This is the Rode Go 2 shotgun microphone, and it is the best microphone for cameras, smartphones, and computers. In this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this microphone, as well as do some comparisons between some of Rode's other very popular microphones, including the Rode Video Micro, the Rode Video Mic NTG, and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. All right, this is a sound test inside of a rather busy restaurant with a lot of background noise and some music behind me. So this is what it sounds like with the road to go to shotgun microphone. And as a comparison, this is the Sony a7 IV without any external microphones attached. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> How's that calamari? I like calamari a lot. It's nice and crispy and good volume, so not complaining. So let's start with a quick overview. This microphone is extremely similar to the Rode VideoMic NTG. Now the VideoMic NTG was announced in November of 2019, and it's been a really popular choice for content creators because it delivers broadcast level audio in a really compact form. And as you can see, the Go 2 is essentially a smaller version of the VideoMic NTG. It's just a little bit more stripped down, which is more beneficial for on-the-go vloggers and content creators such as myself. So when the VideoMic NTG first came out, it was revolutionary not only for offering really high quality audio, but its compatibility. It has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for plugging into cameras, but it also has a USB-C port, so it can be plugged into mobile phones both Apple and Android, and also computers, Apple and Windows computers. So it's a really versatile microphone that you can use not only for recording on your phone or your camera, but you can also use it for streaming or Zoom calls or any kind of audio that you're recording on a computer. So it's ultra versatile, and that is the main feature that's offered on this new Rode Go 2 microphone as well. It's extremely versatile and you're able to use it not only for vlogging, but also for any kind of audio that you need to get for your computers or your smartphones. This is a sound test with the Rode Go 2 plugged into the computer. This is a sound test with the Rode VideoMic Pro NTG plugged into the computer. So this microphone is super lightweight, coming in at just 89 grams. It's also very simple and straightforward. There's no battery or charging required, and also no on and off switch or complicated knobs. As long as this microphone is plugged into your device and your device is on and recording, then you can rest assured that your audio is being picked up by the microphone. So I mentioned the lack of buttons and knobs on the Rode Go 2 just because the Rode VideoMic NTG, which is the big brother of this microphone, does have more buttons as well as a knob that controls the gain. So if you want a little bit more control over your sound, then the Rode VideoMic NTG is the bigger, more expensive option that might be able to give you better audio quality if you know what you're doing. I also mentioned the lack of a battery because the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which is another really popular vlogging microphone out there does require a 9 volt battery to power this mic. So that's one additional point in favor of the Rode Go 2. You can also control extra settings in the Rode Go 2 if you connect it to the Rode Central app, which is now available for mobile phones as well as desktop computers. So when connected to the Rode Central app, you can add a pad if you're recording high sounds, adjust audio input levels, add a high pass filter, a high frequency boost option, and you can adjust the headphone monitoring audio levels. So if we take a look at the rest of Rode's really popular vlogging microphones, then the VideoMic NTG as well as the VideoMic Pro Plus are the ones that are on the higher end in terms of sound quality as well as price. So we're gonna set these two aside. The Rode Go 2 is most comparable, in my opinion, to the Rode Video Micro. Now, the Rode Video Micro has been one of our favorite vlogging mics because of its size. It's just so compact and it's pretty cheap. It's only about $70. So this has been a great complement to our GoPro, which is our main vlogging camera, as well as some of our mirrorless cameras. I've been really liking this Sony ZV-E10 as well as my Sony a7 IV for capturing some vlogging. And so this microphone 
microphone just complements the size of our cameras really well, and the audio quality has been really good over the years. Now if we take the new Go 2 and hold it up next to the Video Micro, you can see that the Go 2 is you know, almost double the size of the Video Micro, so it is a lot bigger, but it's still very lightweight, and price-wise it's only like $30 more expensive, it's about $99 US dollars, so it's not that much more than the Video Micro. And in my opinion, the sound quality on the Go 2 is a lot better than that video micro. This is a sound test with the Sony ZV-E10. We're using the onboard microphone, and this is what it sounds like. Now I'm standing behind the Sony ZV-E10 and I'm walking forward, and this is what it sounds like using that internal built-in microphone. And now I'm filming with the Sony ZV-E10 and the new Rode Go 2 shotgun microphone on top of the camera, and this is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to spin around the camera, and we'll see what it sounds like when I'm standing behind the camera walking forward. This is what it sounds like on the Rode Go 2 shotgun microphone. Next up, I've got the Sony ZV-E10 and the Rode Video Micro. So this is what it sounds like on top of this little Sony vlogging camera. This microphone is quite a bit smaller than the new Rode Go 2 microphone, but we'll see if there's any sound difference. I'm really curious about that. All right, and walking behind the Sony ZV-E10, this is what it sounds like with the Rode Video Micro. Next up, I've got the Sony ZV-E10 along with the Rode VideoMic NTG. This is kind of like the big brother microphone to the Rode Go 2, and it's a lot bigger, but we'll see if that sound quality makes any difference. Now I'm standing behind the camera, walking forward. This is what it sounds like standing behind the Rode VideoMic NTG microphone. And our final microphone test is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. I have that on top of the Sony ZV-E10. This is what it sounds like. This is kind of like the OG, uh, a vlogging microphone for a lot of vloggers out there. It's been around the longest out of all of Rode's microphones that we've just talked about in this video, but it has the disadvantage of needing a 9 volt battery to power it. So that is kind of a downside, but the sound quality should be pretty spot on. Now I'm standing behind the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, walking forward, and this is what it sounds like when standing behind the microphone. So now that you've heard the audio differences between all these microphones, which one is your favorite? In my opinion, the VideoMic NTG and the Pro Plus are at the top of the line in terms of audio quality. But again, you do pay for it, they are more expensive, and these microphones are a lot bigger. They don't complement the size of a smaller camera such as the GoPro or even the ZV-E10 very well. So if you use a smaller camera, then these microphones can even get in the way of your lens. So with that in mind, I think that the Go 2 offers really, really great sound quality. It's pretty comparable to the VideoMic NTG and the Pro Plus, but it comes in a much smaller form factor, which is much better for vlogging on the go and just being a little bit more incognito and not drawing a lot of attention. And this microphone does come with a foam windscreen, which does help block out some of the wind, but there is a big furry windscreen that's on the way. You'll have to purchase that separately. I don't have it here to show you, but we will be getting that for this microphone because this will help whenever we're vlogging or recording audio outside in windy conditions. So with that said, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Will you be picking up this new Rode Go 2 microphone? Or will you be sticking with another microphone for vlogging? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.